Hey, there's a video posted on cross reducing when multiplying fractions. Uh, if you're having trouble with that, you might want to watch it before you go through these problems. Hopefully, it will help. This is lesson 7 2 multiplying fractions. Number one, three fourths times one half. I want to first look to see if I can cross reduce. One and four, the only factors they have in common are one. Same thing with three and two, so I cannot reduce. Therefore, this multiplies straight across. Three times one is three, and four times two is eight. My fraction is in simplest form, so I'm done with the problem. Number two, one third times two fifths. Can't cross reduce one and five, and neither can I two and three. Multiply straight across, one times two is two, three times five is fifteen. Two fifteenths is in simplest form. So I'm done. Number three. One third times six. Be careful. We have a whole number. You must put that whole number over one always. Now I'll see if I can cross reduce. One and one I know I can't, but I can three and six. Three and six have a common factor of three. 3 will go into itself once, 3 will go into 6 two times. Now I can multiply straight across. 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1. Ah, but I have an improper fraction, so I must simplify that. 1 will go into 2 two times with no remainder, therefore this is worth 2 holes. Number 4. Two-fifths times three-sevenths. I cannot cross-reduce, so I just multiply straight across. Two times three is six. Five times seven is thirty-five. Six thirty-fifths is in its simplest form. Number five. Three-eighths times Again, we have a whole number, so I must put that over 1. I can cross-reduce here. 8 and 10 have a common factor of 2. 2 will go into 8 4 times. 2 will go into 10 5 times. Now I just multiply straight across. 3 times 5 is 15. 4 times 1 is 4. Improper fraction, I must divide. I'm not going to show the division. We've been doing this long enough. We should be able to do this in our head. 4 goes into 15 three times, which is 12. Therefore, there will be 3 left over with the same denominator of 4. Number 6. 1, 6 times three-fifths. I can cross-reduce three and six. They have a common factor of three. Three will go into itself one time. Three will go into six two times. Multiply straight across. One times one is one. And two times five is ten. So I have one ten. Number seven, two ninths times three. Again, I have a whole number. I must put it over one. I can cross reduce my three and nine. They both have a common factor of three. Three will go into itself one time. Three will go into nine 
three times. Two times one is two, and three times one is three. Number eight, nine tenths times four fifths. I can cross reduce with my four and ten. They have a common factor of two. Two will go into four two times. Two will go into ten five times. Now I can just multiply straight across. Nine times two is eighteen. Five times five is twenty-five. Eighteen twenty-fifths is in its simplest form. Number nine. Seven eighths times two ninths. I can cross reduce my two and eight. I have a common factor of two. Two goes into itself once. Two goes into eight four times. Seven times one is seven. Four times nine is thirty six. Seven thirty six, simplest form. Number ten. Eleven times. Three fourths. Again, I have a whole number. Just put it over one. I cannot cross reduce anywhere, so I just multiply straight across. Eleven times three is thirty-three over four. I will go ahead and show you the division on this again. Remember, top number is in the house. Four goes into thirty-three. Four into thirty-three goes eight times which is 32, and that leaves us with 1. Now we just have to remember where these numbers go. This is the whole number, 8. This is the new numerator, which is 1, and our denominator stays the same, 8 and 1 fourth.